Renee is a friend through baseball, part of our baseball family, and this family really, really became a family. I've never had a set of parents from athletics be so amazing and so understanding. They were there for us, for our family, for Sarah, for Brayden, for Rayla, for Amelia, for myself, through the worst, literally worst part of our life. They were there through Sarah's death. And I, 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 I don't even know what to say. They would, they would drop everything and help us, whether it be um, to make us food or to get Brayden to practice or a game. This family is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And recently I learned <laughs> that, that Renee started her cancer journey as well. And it sucks. Like it really, really does. And I feel for her and her family. And so I wanted to share her GoFundMe um, and share a little bit of her story. She wanted to be able to share a little bit of her story as well. A little bit about me. My name's Renee. I'm 32 married to my best friend, Sean. We've been married for four years, together for nine years. And we have three boys, Isaac, who's 24, Caden, who is 13, and Noah, who is seven. Caden and Noah are both really into sports. So we spend a lot of time at sporting events and practices, which is actually how we met Josh and his family. Caden and Brayden both played on the same baseball team this last spring. Outside of sports, our family loves to be outdoors. We explore a lot of things outdoors. We love hiking, fishing, camping, um, anything outdoorsy. And we love having movie nights or game nights even. But Anyways, back in March, we were told that Sean needs to have a new heart. So he was put on the transplant list after three years of dealing with heart failure. And then on September 1st of this year, I was diagnosed with metastatic pancreatic adenocarcinoma. So pancreatic cancer, which has spread to my lymph nodes. So for those of you who don't know what the pancreas is, it is an organ that's behind your stomach and it plays an essential role in converting food that we eat into fuel for our body's cells. And it has two main functions. Um, it helps break down and digest food as well as control your blood sugar. So in January, I had what we thought at the time was pancreatitis and continued having some stomach pain as well as a hard time digesting food for the next several months. Um, in August, they found a tumor in my pancreas and after several tests found out that it was cancer. Uh, this was not something that they had even thought was possible since it's not common for younger people to have this type of cancer. But on October 3rd, I did start chemotherapy with an amazing team of doctors, and I should be on chemo for the next three to five months, depending on how well I respond to treatment. From there, it'll kind of just depend on what the treatment does or how things look at that time. But um, I've been asked by many people how I'm doing with chemo so far, and that answer is a little hard to give. Um, the biggest thing that I struggle with is physically I'm tired all the time, and I get extremely worn out pretty easily, but the nausea, um, both of which are pretty manageable, and I have been kind of plowing through. But the biggest thing is emotionally. The emotional aspect of things with cancer itself is hard. Um, I've always been a person that does way too much at once, but also thrives on keeping myself busy. I love the busyness and I love juggling multiple things. I know that kind of 
sounds crazy, but that's just the type of person that I am. So I've always been the person that everyone goes to whenever they need help or the one that takes care of people whenever they're sick. So it's been a pretty big adjustment to have to rely on other people to help me. But through it all, I do think that I've still been pretty positive with things and just trying to look at the positive side of things. But yeah, I will get through this and I just appreciate everybody listening to my story. And also, Josh, thank you for asking if you could share it. Have a good night, everybody. Uh, thank you guys all for being absolutely amazing. Remember, you don't have to donate to the GoFundMe, um, but if you would like to help her and her family out, um, that, that'd be awesome if you're able to and want to, right? So thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you are, and remember to be kind and make good choices.